Hi folks, Jason here. In this video, we're going to be exploring a very cool feature in Blender called Project From View. It enables you to basically create uh, 3D objects from uh, 2D sort of concept art. And in this instance, uh, I've got this um, object here, which is basically created from 3D. If I just move over to the side here, basically it's like a sort of games art. It's a sort of games prop um, with a sort of sci-fi kind of twist to it. It's just something I got from Lexica you know, using AI and just sort of came up with that. And then essentially what I did was I imported it onto a plane like I've done there and then created an object similar to that. Now this is in two parts. These are both um, separate uh, objects. That's one object, that's another object. So I just broke it down that way. And so you can see that it's relatively simple. And this one's um, simple, but there's just a little bit of an extrusion there. And uh, we've got some other things. And as, as well as that, I've also put like a, a displacement on there, just so it kind of brings out some of those details that you can see in the original image. Anyway, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. I'm just going to go to File. I'm going to go to New and General. And then from here, I'm just going to go to File and Import and Import uh, an image. So Images as Planes. And go and find that bit of art that I got from uh, Lexica. I'm going to go and open that. And then I'm just going to go and scale this up. Now let's just go and have a look and see if we can see the image. There we are. And uh, I'm just going to uh, just move this back a wee bit. Maybe just enlarge it just so I can see it. And then just move it over to the side perhaps. So the aim of this is to basically try and get it into the same kind of uh, position and uh, with your um, model. Now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of generally cite this by eye and then from there sort of position it and then I'm going to um, upload my image onto the material. So uh, just using, you can use either the tools here or just use the uh, scale tool and use the different axes. So we could do something like this. We can kind of like do it like that way. I'm not going to rotate it for the time being because it alters the... Um, the pivot so I'm just going to try and get it as near to the model as possible so even something like that so it's kind of almost like a it's almost like a sort of PC desktop uh, type of um, deal maybe a little bit wider something like that I think that's kind of looking okay something like that anyway uh, will do again you can sort of adjust it uh, as you like and then I'm going to hit the tab key and what I want to do is just add a um, a bit of a sort of bevel to it so I'm going to click on that and not a lot just a little bit of a bevel so it doesn't have like just straight edges once you've done that what we can do next is we can start to um, put it into position and then do our projection so I'm going to just kind of rotate it like so now if I just zoom out a little bit there I want to get it into roughly uh, the same sort of position. If I just lift this image perhaps just above, if I just go into the orthographic view, say something like that, and maybe even just do the same thing with that, just raise that up, move that over to the side. Right. Now, um, just looking at it, I might just want to kind of rotate it a little bit. You can see what I'm trying to do there, just trying to kind of roughly just get that same view. So say something like that. And again, if you feel like you need to kind of like adjust it a little bit more, you can do. Uh, so, for example, if I hit the tab key and just perhaps even go into like uh, the face, you could extend it a little bit more if you wanted to. I think I'm fairly happy with it, but, you know, you could sort of do it that way. You know, select uh, select some of these edges and sort of do, um, uh, do that. But I'm just going to leave it as is for the time being. And I'm quite happy with that. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, apply uh, a material to this. So once you're kind of happy with it, I'm going to uh, just go back into the uh, object mode, go into the little beach ball symbol there. Now it looks like it's actually dropped one on there for me already, but what we do need to do is uh, we need to attach the image. So I'm going to go to base color, I'm going to go click on the base color there and go through to where it says image texture it'll turn black and then go to where it says open click on that go to the desktop and go and find the image which is there now it's going to be all over the place you can it's basically wrapping the image all the way around but this is the cool part so what we're going to do is i'm going to go um hit the tab key and then hit a just so it selects the whole thing and then we're going to go to uv 
and then project from view and then click on that right so it still hasn't done anything because we need to basically move um this uh, well the uvs for this into position so i'm going to just split the uh, page now i'm just going to bring that over to there and i'm going to go to the little kind of symbol here where you can basically bring up a different window i'm going to go to uv editor and you'll see there now this is our project from view right so it's not uh, it's nowhere near kind of um, where we want it but it's in a similar angle so what we can do here is if i just uh, perhaps just bring that just so you can actually see the image moving on the on the uh, on the planes right is highlight this and essentially i'm going to hit g and move it over you see there already now it's it's showing the image i'm going to go s to scale and scale that up r to rotate and then G, and then basically this is where you're going to have to just kind of like use your own kind of judgment and just start to kind of put it into place. So S, scale that up, G. Now, so what I want to do is, as we've kind of got this shape here, I'm going to just select those vertexes and hit G and say bring that over to where I think that corner is going to be and do the same on this side. You can see there it corresponding in the viewport there. And then same with that. And then I'm going to take that down, say something like that. And then I'm going to select those, move that over to there, and then sort of move that over to there. It's not going to be perfect, but it's uh, hopefully it's going to kind of give you some kind of view you can see there already now it's, it's trying to kind of put it into place but it's not perfect uh, there's still some stuff to do there now although you kind of you can get like a, a really good sort of you know approximate view of like what it looks like there's a bit of warping kind of going on so how we can deal with that is just using the uh, loop cut tool but that's looking all right now before we sort of go any further you know you you, you might want to kind of maybe even take some of these faces like here for example you may want to sort of position that so if you wanted like a a game uh asset where you you know the player is going to be able to kind of walk all the way around then you probably need to kind of adjust this a little bit more so perhaps you could even like just go shift and sort of select um select these faces for example do it like that and then what you could do is just take that that view and UV and just uh, unwrap it, right? And then what you could do from there is you could then overlay that. So take that, maybe even S to scale that down, and do this do a similar thing that we did before. So basically, just repeating uh, the front. Obviously, we don't have any artwork for the back because it's just a bit of two D um, uh, imagery. And I think that's looking all right there actually. And then that to there. So let's go and hit G. So at least then you've kind of got like a back to your asset. Now, I think I've got it the wrong way around. So I might just kind of rotate that around there and uh, just try that again. I think I've got it the right way around this time. And I think now it's upside down. So let's try again. There we go. So rotate that. There we go. I think we got there in the end. And I'll just adjust that. Like so. There we go. Got there in the end. And again, you can sort of play around with this a little bit more. Uh, you know, um, to your heart's content, and then you know, maybe even do the same thing with the front. But I'm not going to bother with that for now. I'm just going to concern ourselves with this first part. Now you can see there, there's a bit of warping going on. So what we can do to remedy that, if I just now move that out of the way there, is we can drop in some loop cuts. So we've got that as our reference. If I go to the uh, loop cut tool, you can start dropping them in, and you'll see it starts to kind of pull the image together. So maybe even drop one in there basically starts to kind of straighten it out so maybe like one there and then we can maybe have a look at this uh, 
these parts here. And basically just work your way around the parts where you think you might be able to do, <clears throat> excuse me, an extrusion. You can basically just start to put some cuts in. So you've got one there, you know, can maybe create a bit of a recess there. We could probably even pop one in there. Maybe one down the side here. One there, and uh, maybe one there, and one there. Okay, uh, we could even potentially put one in there. But it's entirely up to you where you kind of go with it. Something like that. I'm not going to bother with the top because we're going to have a, an additional piece there. And then look at the side. Now, this is a bit of a tricky, tricky area here because on the bit of uh, AI art, it's, there's some interesting angles. Now, I'm just going to get an approximate kind of shape for that. So I'm not going to get too stressed out trying to figure that out uh, per se. But suffice to say, I'm going to just try and let's just undo that a second just try and um get an approximate shape of this something like that okay and then we've got these additional parts here so let's just zoom out a little bit so we've got this little button this little light here so I'm definitely going to Create some sort of visions around that. Uh, right about there. And also, I think it might have like a bit of a frame going around it as well. So, right, if I just zoom in there, you can see it. So there, just so we can create a bit of a lip. And then um, maybe something there, something there. And maybe across the top there. Something like that. Maybe in that. And of course you can add uh, as you kind of go along. But I mean, just for the purposes of this video, I think I'm going to kind of leave it there for the time being, at least with this part. And then basically when, once you've done that, you can just start extruding. So... Uh, I'm going to come out of that tool now and go, okay, so um, let's have a look. Let's maybe have a look at this part first. So you can see here, it's like a little kind of doorway almost, you know, it's um, some kind of shape. And uh, you can choose the different, you know, either the vertexes or the edges or the uh, faces that way, or you can just kind of go um, uh, one, let's do it, one, two, three, and do it that way. You have to kind of keep your cursor over the model and that's a very good way of kind of selecting things quickly and then uh, let's just go and have a look just start maybe just select some of these something like that perhaps maybe those ones at the bottom i don't know and then just hit e maybe extrude that out if you want to put a bit of a bevel on there you can do uh, before I do that, I'm just going to go and select this and maybe have this as a recess. So maybe even something like, maybe keep that there and then E and then sort of take that in like so. So for the edges, I'm just going to go um, hit 2. And what you can do is, holding down Shift, you can click 1, hold down Shift, and just double click. Holding down Shift, double click, and then double click. So we've got all of those selected there. And then I can go to the bevel tool and just put a little bit of a bevel on there. Not a lot, just something like that. And then we can maybe choose some other parts. Go, okay, so where else could we go? Looking at our reference, maybe we could bring some of these panels out perhaps. So again, I'm going to come out of that tool and maybe uh, go uh, on two, three, select the faces. Maybe something like that. And then uh, E. And then we've got these little kind of recessed areas. So these are quite interesting. So maybe I'll go and select these. If you want to deselect, just press Control and then click on the, uh, the part that you've highlighted.
I'll say something like that, perhaps. Or maybe even I might just take that back a wee bit off of the bevel to say something like that. And then I'm going to hit E and sort of take that back. Now what I'm also going to do is, now I've got that recess, I want to create a little bit of a curve in there. So I might just go uh, back to 2 so I can select the edges. And then select one, shift and just double click and do the same on the other edge. Click, shift and double click. So I've got either side, and then I'm going to go and to the bevel tool and just give that a bit of a bevel. Something like, not a lot though, just something like that, just so I can create like a bit of a curve. Make sure you don't go too far as well because you don't want to create like manifold sort of geometry. And there, in the little bevel uh, panel there, if I just go and click on that, you can actually add some segments. So let's just try that again. Try that again. So I've got that there, and then add some. There we go. Just so it can add like a bit of a curve to it. You can play around with some of these other things as well, like the width, but I think that's kind of looking all right. So it's something like that. So I go and click off now. If I go and hit the tab key, you can see there it's got like a bit of a curve to it. So that's quite useful. And uh, and basically just continue going around. So, you know, just try, um, let's go, sorry, hit to three, select some of the faces here. So around this light here, this little button, and hit three, sorry, E, I beg your pardon. And then go and select the face on the inside, hit E, take that back. And again, you can add a bevel to that if you wanted to. Let's have a look at these things on here now. So. Maybe even go and just select some of these. Select that. And that. And uh, that. Something like that. E. Something there. Maybe even just extend this out a little bit. So again, just be creative with it. Uh, hit E. Bring that out a little bit. And if you wanted to, you could have a, have, add a little bevel to that. So 2. Just go and select that. Shift. And just double click and select same at the bottom and let's go to the bevel tool and then just add a bit of a bit of a bevel and if you want to do you could even add some segments you know just add a bit of a bit of a curve something like that cool and basically just work your way around once you've kind of like got some of the primary um, artwork in there you know, the, um, once you've kind of been playing around with the artwork, you can then uh, maybe just start to be sort of creative with it and then add your own stuff. So you may have seen the, the intro. Uh, I added some light, lights in there. I also added some more subdivisions. So I didn't stick strictly to the plan. You know, I just had a bit of a play, really. So um, let's just try it with this. Let's try and do like we did on the other side and just create a bit of a frame. Something like that. E, bring that out. Select the uh, interfaces. And then E again, and then take that in. So about that. So that's pretty cool. And then you can just keep going and keep going and keep going. <clears throat> For the top part, what I did here is essentially I um, created another little kind of uh, object. So Shift and uh, A, and just brought in the mesh. Say another plane. Not plane, sorry, big one brought in uh, a cube and then from there what I did was I kind of got the approximate shape of that something like that and took that and maybe just kind of put it in place and just see you know this is where you can just have to kind of have a little bit of a bit of a play position it Just get the approximate shape of it. Um, I might just try and extend that face a little bit, maybe. Just going to hit E and just extend that a little bit, like so. 
Now, if you don't want to have any subdivisions, that's not a problem. So if I'm doing this like by extending it and you don't want to have subdivision in there, all you'd need to do is going to hit uh, two and shift and just double click just so you've got all of the edges selected, delete, and then you can just uh, dissolve edges. There, you can just sort of take it away. So we do the same thing. Delete and then just dissolve edges. That's if you want to, or you can just keep it as is. And G and just kind of anyway. So basically, once you kind of got that in place, you can apply the same thing, right? So uh, this hasn't got uh, a material um, applied to it. So uh, from there, what we could do is go new, and then in the base color, go and uh, put the image texture on there. Go into open. And go and find our image, which is there, and then basically do the same thing. So you can go, okay, so that's kind of roughly on about there. One thing I didn't do is, uh, I'm just going to hit the tab key now and A, is just add a bit of a bevel. And also, it maybe could do with being a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to go, um, before I do that, I might just scale that up a little bit, make it a little bit thicker, something like that. And then uh, go to the bevel tool and just add a bit of a just a tiny little bit of a bevel bevel uh, to it. Okay, so something like that. And then um, hit A again, and then basically pick the position, right? So we'll look at it from like that point of view, something like that. And then from there, what you can do is the same thing, right? So go to UV and go to um, project from view. And then if we come over here now, you'll see there it's picked that view. You can go and select it, G, move that over, and then basically start having to play. So go, okay, so scale that up. And then select each corner, G, and then basically just move them into place. And you can see there, if I just zoom in there, hopefully I've got it the right way around. This can be a little bit hit and miss, so it may be... I think I'm in the right territory. I can see it moving there. But if you see that and it's happening, perhaps, say, over there, you'll know that perhaps you got the UV upside down, So, which is not a problem. And then just move that over there and maybe move that to around about there. Okay, so that's approximately in the right space. And then there will be a bit of warping. And just like before, all we'll need to do is uh, put some sort of visions in there. So at the moment, there's like there's a bit of there is some distortion there anyway in the original uh, image. But if I just move that over to the side a little bit and uh, start adding some loop cuts in there. So, for example, uh, if I go and say drop one in I don't know, there, say so you'll see it starts to kind of pull it into place. Uh, say around right about there. Say one there, and then at the side there, say one there, and then say one at the back. And I think that's roughly around about it. So, and then where you can go from there is, you can see there, there's a bit, it kind of raises up a little bit. So again, just have a bit of a play around with it. You can maybe, it's going to come off that tool now. And maybe I'll just select some faces there. So what I'll probably do here is I'm going to try and just bend that up. So I've got that kind of roughly around about there. Could maybe even just do something like that. Say perhaps, you can see you can see it there, sort of selecting it on the other side on the uh, UV map. So say something like that. And uh, what I might do is instead of like extruding it, I might just see if I can just literally. This can be like be a little bit hit and miss, but instead of like trying to kind of do the extrusion, I'll just try and bend it a little bit, rotate. Let's have a look. Let's try and bring that down to say something like that. That's not looking too bad. 
So, you know, just so it's, it's looking approximately um, the same sort of shape. Now, perhaps I could probably do that. Actually, I could probably just do with flattening that off as well. Let's try that. Oops. Maybe even... Something like that. I think maybe I could... I should actually have selected that side there. Let's just undo that a second. And just go back again and try that again. You can see there, just where it kind of flattens off. And again, just you know, just just have a play with it, really. Um, from there, you could add some more subdivisions. So if I say go back to the loop cut tool, perhaps uh, there's a little kind of panel there. So maybe I could add something in there, perhaps. And this is where you can just basically just have a little bit of, you know, a bit of fun with it. And again, it's not exactly kind of like um, where we want it, but uh, I don't think that's looking too bad. Um, okay. And I could see there at the front, there's a little bit of warping going on there, but I'm not going to be too bothered about that. Um, at the front there, there's like the panel kind of comes out. So you could maybe even do an extrusion from there. So maybe looking at, I don't know, where that panel, let's just go on two, three there, where that panel is, where it kind of comes down at the front. Something like that. Okay, and then we could extrude out from there, perhaps. Something like that, just so it's got a bit of a, And hit G maybe and just bring that out a wee bit. Something like that. And you could you know you could add a bevel to it and things like that. And then uh, these are the parts. I might just add a bit of a recess to this. So these parts here, I'm going to take it up to there and maybe just continue around the other side. So I miss out this part here and something like that. And then just create a bit of a recess. So press uh, E and then S for scale, and then just sort of take that in to say there. Has that done it? A little bit, not a lot. Let's try that again. E and then S for scale. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> that's not looking too too shabby. All right. And then, uh, of course, you could just keep going on and on and on and just kind of work it into it. What I'm going to do next, though, is a couple of things, and then we'll kind of we'll finish up. Is I'm going to look at um, putting some displacement on there and also some emission. So at the moment, it's kind of looking a little bit flat. You know, if I go into say, if I just bring this out here to to there, and then maybe go into just that view, it's looking all right. If I take this light here go into the light there and just hit G and move it around. You know, what you can see there now, we do have some, you know, some geometry in there and it's kind of looking 3D, but it's looking a bit flat. So what I'm going to suggest here is, is that we go into the shader editor. So it's going to bring this all the way over to here. Go to shader editor and then just bring this back like so. And we'll deal with this first part, uh, the uh, first model there. So you can see it's already got the, um, the material on there and it's got the image on there as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the um, um, image and I'm going to press Shift and D and just duplicate that. And then I'm going to put a displacement node in there. So I'm going to go Shift and A, search and go um, displace and it should bring it up there already there we go and then i'm just going to connect up the color up to the height 
and then from displacement to displacement and we should see a change there we go so um it's looking quite severe at the moment it's interesting but it's it's bumped it out quite a lot looks a bit nasty so what you can do is with the scale tool here if i just zoom in a little bit you can see it a bit better you can sort of play around with the bump that way so we don't want like we don't want it to be like over the top just enough just to kind of add a little bit of just a bit of a bump say something like that and then we could do the same thing with the top right so at the moment we don't have anything there so go select that shift and d then shift in a search and just go displace and you'll find it there displacement put that there connect the color up to the height and then from the displacement there to displacement there and then just adjust the scale like before cool so you can see there now it's got a bit more of a 3d quality about it and again if you want to sort of create like a little concept scene very quickly you know it's um it would be really good for that and then lastly just to finish up um i'll tell you what let's put a, a little um plane underneath so i'm just going to click off that shift in a and uh, mesh and plane and let's just scale that up just so it's got something to kind of bounce off something like that move that over there and maybe even create um, a background as well let's do that so i'm going to go and select that edge shift and select that edge and then e and just bring that up like so i'm going to go over to the orthographic view and then just sort of straighten that up like so something like that if you wanted to like uh, like in in the beginning of the video you can uh, add a bit of a bevel so a bit of a curve if you wanted to uh, in the corners here so let's just go and move this um, move that out of the way that'd be grand and then uh, hit the tab key so we're here if i go and select that you can uh, do a little bit of a bevel right so go okay add a bit of a bevel there and then also add some segments to that as well something like that you can even play around with like the width if you wanted to make it a little bit a bit more of a curve something like that and if you wanted to let's say you wanted to do this and dis you're displaying your assets you could even uh, just go into object uh, mode and go to the modifiers and even just thicken it up so if i just go down to solidify uh, you could just add a bit of thickness to that right something like say that and then just okay that apply that so now we've got a bit of thickness to our model let me just move in this entire thing just up a little bit because i think it's just sitting below beneath the grid so around about there and uh emission so what we're going to do with the mission is on the uh um, model is I'm going to go back into the tab and let's just do deal with this one first so we're going to put a bit of an emission there and if you want to add some other bits you can do like maybe some there as well let's do that so in order to do that we just need to create another material so i'm going to go down to the bottom here to the uh, material properties and i'm going to go into this plus sign here and go new and then from there what we're going to do is where it says surface uh, it's put in like as a default uh, principled uh, um, principled uh, bsdf and we're going to need to change that to emission right and also uh, we're going to apply this as well so it's there but it's not applied at the moment so we need to go to um, three and go and select those faces there and then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the top, click on that emission, and then go assign. You can see there. Now, it's not looking very emissive at the moment. We need to add a bit of a glow. So let's go back up to the top. And uh, if we then go from there and click on bloom, you'll see there now we've got a little bit of a a bit of a um, a bit of a bloom going on there we can also intensify this um, emission a little bit so let's just go back down to the materials and the emission and let's just make that glow a little bit more there we go you can see that 
Nice. All right. And then basically we can just do the same thing. So go through to the side here, select those, and go back up to the top, material, and then assign, and then hey presto, you've got your glowing. And of course, if you want to do, you can just continue going around and just add in little bits and bobs uh, as you wish. I'm just going to hit tab key, going to go and click on the top now here. And um, again, if you want to kind of add some stuff here, so for example, if you wanted to add, um, let's say, go into the tab key and do the same thing, we're going to add like an emissive material uh, to this little edge here. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. All we need to do is create another material, go new, and instead of uh, the principled uh, BSDF, just go and select emission. And then what we do is from there, we're going to go assign. And again, just have a play around with the strength. Take that strength up. And we've got a bit of a glow going on there. And if you wanted to, you could even like do, I know this is like sort of deviating from the original image, but you know, you could um, add some other little bits to this. You know, like a little screen there maybe if you wanted to you could uh, go on there maybe even e just make it like a bit of a recess and then from there you can go and apply that material and assign that and you know just work your way around um need a bit of nice lighting in here now so i think we've just got that bit of lighting at the moment let's go and add say uh, a bit of bluish light at the bottom so i'm going to go to um, back into the object mode shift and d and let's just move that down to there. That's a little bit strong, so I might just take that down to say something like 300. And let's just go and hit G and move that in there. And then let's just change the color of it, right? So maybe you have this as a kind of cold blue. So let's just change the color there to maybe like a, a bluish color. And then what we'll do is we'll shift D that, bring that through to the other side. And this time I will make it, make it pink maybe, just give it like a pink tinge, something like that. And then uh, just hit G and then move that in there like so. And that's basically it. You've kind of got your asset. Uh, you've managed to um, play around with that uh, projection tool. You've um, added a bit of displacement to there and also a bit of a mission. And in a short space of time, you've kind of got like a, a game asset, you know, that you can either just use as a concept or indeed put it into a game engine. Things like uh, the emission and things like that, you'd have to apply, say, for example, if you're going to put it into Unreal Engine, you'd need to obviously put some emission in there from there, but um, and maybe even play around with some of the displacement. But you've got the general principle there, um, and the rest is really entirely up to you. So anyway, hopefully you found this uh, tutorial useful, and uh, that's it from uh, from me, folks. So see you in the next video. Bye for now.